Hi everybody, Nancy here. Okay, I'm sitting here doing what I do, and a couple of things I did, I thought, you know, I bet if you're a new person, it would never even occur to you to ask these questions or even to think that you might could do something. And so I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll just share some of those things. And th listen, there's so much that it's impossible to do a one video on it. And honestly, if you go back and look at my videos, most of what I do is showing you things that are not not immediately obvious, okay? Some things are, but most of the things are like little treasures that I found while I was working. And, um, it, you know, there's just so much. If you've been using a different software package, it wouldn't even occur to you to ask about these things, you know? So I just wanted to show you a few of those things. Now, first of all, if you're new to Zoom Notes, you may not know about layers. Now, I have several videos on layers, so I'm not going to do that, but I just wanted to show you. I've got this little, my newbie, you know, a few tips. That thing, the black thing, is on its own layer. And now that I'm done with it, I'm just going to hide it. And I do that. I'm going to click down on my bottom. Now, understand, if you're new that you are 100% in control of how your things, how your screen looks. And I have chosen to put everything down at the bottom for various reasons. Um, those three dots up at the top have driven me crazy because I kept hitting them. All right, so I'm able to move all of my toolbars, even the ones on the left and right, I have moved them all to the bottom. And, you know, the ones that are not docked, like this one right here, I can move anywhere I want to move it. So, I love having that flexibility. That's number one. If you don't like the way something looks or the way it, you know, if you have to reach to get something, odds are really good that you don't have to do it that way. You can change it. But that's not even what I was going to talk about. Um... But I, I'm going to hide. Right now, that black thing that's in the middle is on its own layer. So I'm just going to make it invisible. But see, I just clicked on the, um, the eight down at the bottom with the diamond. That's the layer. So I clicked on that. And I'm going to make layer eight invisible because I don't want to see that anymore. Okay? Now, I've, I, like I said, I was working along. And I thought, you know, I bet, I bet <laughs> there's things that, oh, anyway, I've already said that. Okay, first, and I, and I have a feeling I'll do more of these just because there's lots of new people, I think, and, and, or at least new to, to my group or to my channel. So a few things. All right. First of all, when I want to draw a line, let me, I'm going to change it, change the color to black. Well, maybe I'll change it to something else. Let me change it to purple. And, okay, so now my pen is purple so that when I try, oops, see, okay, now the reason that happened is because that is my, act. see, it's my current, and as soon as I tapped on the screen, it, it made it visible again. I need to change it so that that is not my current <coughs> layer. I'm going to change it to number one down towards the bottom. And now I can, I can hide that again, and it won't pop back up. That was my fault. And do done. Okay, so now I'm on layer one. I was on layer eight. With, that's where the other thing is. Okay, now see, I drew that line right there. See how crooked that is? What I have discovered is... I better way to do a line especially especially while I'm <laughs> underlining something like this okay this is a pdf file so I can use this a with the i beam if you look at this thing here it's um under these are the tools down at the bottom probably on the top of yours 
and its selection tools, the A with the I beam looking thing. If you select that, then then you can select stuff like this and just do underscore underline and it will underline it okay so you can do that and you're guaranteed it's going to be straight but I, I usually don't bother with that so i i want to just draw some lines i'm just reading along and i want to draw a line so what i will do instead of drawing a whole line just draw a little portion of one and then I can select it and just pull it out. Now my line is perfectly straight and I didn't have to do anything. <laughs> you know, I didn't have to do anything fancy with it. I just draw a little bit of one or, you know, I can do a whole set of them. Let's say I want to um, underline this whole paragraph. Then I'll go ahead and draw a bunch of these little lines, select them pull them out but you can see how that's not a perfect solution because I didn't start it at the same place but that's okay I can move it you know stretch it so you know you you do you um, another thing you can do is sometimes if you do draw a line that's kind of I, I see I'm, I'm drawing it but it's not straight all I have to do is select it and grab either the top or bottom in the middle of the red square. See how I'm dragging it? See how I'm exaggerating the messed up? But if I pull it close where it's almost touching the other one, then see I've straightened it out way better. And I look at it and I go, well, that's just that's too thin I want it thicker well you don't have to start over you know if um, I'll show you an example if I just drag see the preview uh, the line that's down at the bottom next to the pins it's a line showing the color and it shows the thickness all I have to do is drag my pen across and it makes it thicker all right pull it back and it'll make it thinner so it's no need to erase if you've made a mistake. Like if you write something, um, and you decide, well, that's too something. I don't know. Maybe it's too thin. So I'm going to select it. I don't have to start from scratch. I just, you know, I drag and make it thicker or thinner, whatever I need. Or I decide, well, I really don't want it purple, you know. So I just take, I have this color wheel up here. I, see, I, I just didn't collapse it back down. Normally, it probably is not even showing. See, if I click on the, the little purple box to the right of the line I just talked about, if I click on that, that pulls up one layer or the, the current palette. But if I want to make changes to it, see, I've got all these different options of palettes. Well, I want to change that purple to um, something else. See, I'm changing. I'm just pulling my pen around the color wheel, and it's changing the color of that text as I move it around the circle. So if I want it to be green, I could make it green. If I want it to be blue, I could, you know. So, again... You are in complete control of this thing. And it's not something that you would necessarily intuitively know. <laughs> all right. Um, so, all right. What's, what's something else? Okay. Now, see how, see how on my, I was reading along and, and they're supposed to be taking a census of all the different family groups in, in this chapter. And um, so I wanted to illustrate that well. <laughs> you can tell I'm a stick man drawer, all right? But easiest thing to do, rather than try to turn my tablet and write the names, like see how it's got the first name is Sam and Levi and Carl and how it's on an angle. I drew the paper first 
And then it was like, well, crud, now I've got to write the little tiny names, you know, little bitty tiny and line them up and do all that. Well, you don't. All you have to do is, um, let's pretend this is that list. The bottom. If I select this list here and I've got it selected now. I'm going to change the tool from select to the grab tool, which is, see if I go here, down towards the bottom to the far right, image tools, grab image. Now notice I've got it on my toolbar right here next to the bucket that's got yellow in it. If I click on that, because I had it selected, it selected exactly what I had selected, the, the pink, is now the grab and if I tap off of it see it pulls up this menu and I do copy so now that's on my clipboard and now I'm going to paste it as image and you can do that from here on your um, operations see paste as image again I've got it on my toolbar down at the bottom so all I have to do is click on that and it will paste that list now, what I've just done is created a picture of that list. And I, I pulled it in because it was too wide, which kind of distorted it. But that's okay. It, it, I could still use it. I, okay, so if I... Um, now I want to put it at the angle of that piece of paper. So what I would do is go to the selection menu close that up, go down to the images and see the distort image about midway. If I click on that, see that puts green squares and I'm going to drag it to my paper that the angle that I, I want it. And see now my list is angled with the piece of paper that I wanted it to look like it was written on. Okay, so cool. And you can only do that with an image and that's why I had to convert the, the you know, the handwriting to an image first. So that's another little tip. You've got your grab, you've got your paste as image, and you've got your distort are things that I just told you how to use. All right, so I'm gonna delete that because I don't really want it. So that's another thing. So I've, another thing that you may not be aware of, if you squeeze this, see the background? I've got it set to black, but normally it's a gray color. And that may not be something that you just really love. If you want it something different, just go to the gear on your pages menu, which is this, which is probably on the far right side on yours if you haven't changed it. Click on the gear and go down and see you have the option down here to change the surround color. I've got it black. All I have to do is click on, on it and now I can make it again any color I want to. I just drag my... my um, wheel i'm dragging in the center now you can probably see and find the color that you want and of course you know you've got palettes too that you could use to do the same exact thing i just happen to love doing the hsv version of it so that you can see it real time see what you like and um so that's how you would change your background if you wanted to the color of your background Okay, so I think that's where I'll stop today. I could go on and on for hours about things that you may or may not be aware of. But again, go back to some of my older videos. Even though the older, they still are valid. Now, the screens probably look a little different. And they're, you know, a lot has happened since I started doing these videos. But for the most part, they're still pretty valid. So... I think it's safe to go back and watch the other videos. And if you have questions about anything, just ask me in the comments. I'm not 
I'm not available on on the um, Facebook group, but I am here. So if you want to ask me, or you can go on Facebook and ask them any questions that you might have, okay? So y'all have a great day, and as I think of other things I think you might be interested in, I'll go ahead and do another video, okay? Y'all have a great one. Bye.